So what is NMR spectroscopy? You've already done one form of, two forms of spectroscopy in uh, spectrometry and mass and IR spectroscopy. IR, so IR spectroscopy told you what about compounds? IR was specifically about the functional groups. NMR is beautiful because the reason why MR is beautiful is because of its power. That tool is extremely powerful. So. The reason why NMR spectroscopy is so powerful is because it gives me almost a complete picture of the organic molecule. Like without having to do functional group tests using reactions or infrared spectroscopy, I can know not the functional group also, but even the alkyl groups, the size, the number of carbon atoms, everything. That's why NMR is so complete. It is, provides the most direct evidence for the whole structure of a carbon compound. Because unlike mass spec and IR, because we will do mass spec in molecules maybe in a bit after this chapter, a particular NMR spectrum will give the whole unique molecular structure of the molecule. Yes, it gets more complicated when you get much like 50, 20, 30 carbon atoms, but we won't be going there. You guys will be looking at the basics which are involving lesser carbon atoms. Now what's NMR response? I mean, what if, how do we do NMR? I mean, sorry, what am I saying this? NMR is basically how the apparatus is set up and all of that has been removed from the syllabus. So if anybody is looking at questions and say, how does the NMR work, what is spin, what is nucleus, all of that stuff, nucleus spin is out of the syllabus. What's left is how we can interpret the graph to come up with an organic molecule. And here, there are two types of NMR spectroscopy we'll be doing. We'll be doing something called proton, spectros proton NMR and carbon-13 NMR. We will start with proton NMR and then do carbon-13. Proton NMR is much more detailed and also much more useful. And you can get more stuff by it. Generally, carbon-13 NMR only tells me the functional groups of the compound. Okay? For the first two days, we'll be looking at proton NMRs. Now, what is proton NMR? Now, I'll start with examples. Now, if you have questions in the middle, I would suggest wait because most of the questions that you'll have will be coming up in the slide after that or the slide after that. So after some slides, I'll pause and ask you. Now, if something is bothering you, you ask, okay? So we'll go slide by slide and focus on if anything on the slide is something you don't understand. If it's the least of the questions, you hold on to them for a few minutes, I will answer them. So this is the end result first. This is what we're going to aim for. Okay, we should be able to look at a graph like this and come up with a structure like this. So what we'll do is we'll understand molecular structures and graphs together so that when we get to see the graph later on, we'll be able to draw the structure. Now what, we, what things which you see? What you will see are things called peaks. And I'm also talking about the stuff written in the next two, three slides because it's all together. I'm wrong right now is on slide five, six, seven, eight, but it's my graph, but I thought I left it here. Now, first of all, in slide five, you'll see I'm saying there are how many peaks? There are three peaks. And the three peaks correspond to three different, what we call chemical environments of the protons. The term proton will be used to refer to the nucleus of a hydrogen atom. But you can consider when I say proton that I'm talking about hydrogen. So, we hydrogen ki environment, ki baat kare, but technically I can't say that, I should say proton environment, but I'm really talking about hydrogen's environment. And what, is, what do I mean by hydrogen's chemical environment? The atoms it is bonded to around itself. Now, the three peaks are telling me that this hydrogen had three different environments. Even though the molecule, if you jai, so the molecule has six different hydrogens, but there are only three different environments. You can tell, at least by the color coding here, that these three that are labeled purple here are referring to this peak right here. Obviously, we'll talk about the x-axis values later. We'll talk about why the peak is higher and lower also. But this is a summary first, and then a detail. So first of all, there are three different environments telling me that there are three different types of hydrogens in key environment. You might see that these three are considered to be the same environment. 
These two are considered to be one other environment, and this one is the third environment. Now, why are these three in different environments? We'll talk about that also. But these three are. And the heights or the areas of the three peaks, because the area will be width into height, are in the ratio of the actual number of hydrogen atoms. This is one, this is two, this is three. So the areas are ratio of one is to two is to three. Cambridge is so nice, and most times writes the actual number of hydrogens for that peak on the top of the graph. So like you'll see things like this, one, two, and three also. Okay. Now. One thing on slide number six, I'm mentioning this, this that. Let's skip to slide six. That the hydrogens joined to the same carbon atom are considered to be the chemically equivalent hydrogen atoms. And I'll zoom in here for a second. Look at this molecule. Look at these guys. The hydrogens, the three hydrogens. On this carbon atom, are considered to be chemically equivalent, meaning they have the same environment. And you can tell what I mean by environment. Look at this, the one on top. The one on top is bonded to a CH two, which is bonded to a CH two, which is bonded to a CHO. The one here is also bonded to a CH two, CH two, CHO. So that's why all these three have the same other sequence of atoms bonded to themselves. So these three are considered to be chemically equivalent. Or having the same environment, these two, by the by the by the fact that they are bonded bonded to the same carbon atom, are also chemically chemically equivalent, and so is this guy. So this is one. These two are equivalent, and these three are equivalent. That's another thing. So basically, if you are a hydrogen on a carbon atom, you are going to be chemically equivalent with the other hydrogens on the same carbon atom. Then. We talked about the uh, next slide. May we'll see that the area I mentioned is proportional to the number of hydrogens in the environment. So this area is one is to two is to three. Cambridge will give us the numbers in most cases one, two, and three, but the area is actually one is to two is to three. All right. So what do we know? That the number of peaks is equal to the number of different types of protons. Now, is a different term being used here? Types of protons. Now, what what makes a proton a different type from another one? When they have different chemical environments. Now, the term chemical environments, proton environments, or environment will mean the same thing in my class. Proton environment, chemical environment, environment, all of three. This means that the atoms the hydrogen is bonded to, and If the if the environments are different for two different protons, then there are two different types of protons. मतलब for example, if I scroll back up, and we had discussed this that these this is one environment, this is another environment, this is another another environment. What I'm saying is these three are the same type of photon, but these two are a different type of photon. आपस में same है, but these two are different from these. And this is the third different one. So इस molecule में कितने types of protons हैं? Three, because there are three types of environments. So that term is now important. Type of proton means the environment of the hydrogens. All right. Now, let's scroll down. So, so different types of protons. Ki baat aagi, theek hai? Then, now this is very important. Our first job will be to figure out how if two different two protons are identical or in different environments. Okay. Generally, I mean, obviously, we already discussed the fact that if the protons are on the same carbon atom, they are same. But we're gonna have a lot more. I mean, we're gonna have a lot more molecules that are gonna be different. For example, if a if a compound has a C multiple C H three groups and a C H three C H two groups, they will all by default they will all be different. Okay. So a C H three will always be different from a C H two. It will all be different from a C H. But two CH3 groups can be the same or different. Look, let me say this again. Let's say you have a molecule CH3, CH2, CH3. I'm saying that the CH2 and the CH3 will be different aapas mein because this has three hydrogens, this has two hydrogens. But if the, is this CH3 the same as this one? That will depend on a couple of things. So we'll talk about that. Not they they might be the same or they might be different. What makes them same or different? I will talk about that. So two CH3 groups may be identical in this case, 
By the way, in this case also they are identical. In this case they are also identical. But in this case they are not identical. And the reason is that it all depends on what the CH3 is bonded to. For example, in this case, the CH3 is directly bonded to an O. If this structure we've not done in chemistry before, but its bonding looks like this. So this structure that I've drawn right here is actually corresponding to this one. And why makes why does this CH3 why is this CH3 different from this CH3? Because the one on the left is directly bonded to O. The one on the right is bonded to a CH2. That makes these two different CH3s. But ye jo hai, why is this the same? Because this is the structure CH3 bonded to an O which is also bonded to a CH3. Both of them are bonded to one oxygen. So they're both identical. Like you can draw and you'll realize it that symmetry kaam aegi isme. Like if I make a line of symmetry right here, these two are identical. Isme ma banato yaha so it's not symmetrical. Even if I make the line here, the two sides are not symmetrical. When there's no symmetry, you know they're different. Symmetry means the same. Now I'll, I'll show you some examples first. Let's look at propanol, butanol, butanone, and then we'll talk about some more. You see a lot of molecules today, a lot of molecules. And that's the idea to kill you with boredom. Huh? So this is the molecule, this is propanal. Aldehyde with three carbons. This is the one we saw earlier. Now this one may, these three hydrogens are this to the same carbon, so they are equivalent. And these two are equivalent, and this is a separate one. And therefore, th therefore we had how many different environments here? Three, and no identical environments, no identical groups. The next example on slide number 11, which I want to also correct, is that first of all is butanone, not nal. I don't know what I was thinking when I was naming this. This is butanone, a ketone. Now the ketone is, by default, this is a CH3, bonded to a CH2, bonded to a CO, which I will actually show, CO, CH3. And here, you'll notice the two CH3s are not identical, because this guy is bonded to a C double bond O, while the one on the left is bonded to a CH2. So these three, so drawing them like this, is easier to look because you can tell that these three must be the same, these two must be the same, and these three are on a carbon bonded to a CO, while these three are on a carbon bonded to a CH2. So these three are different from these three, and the middle one is also different because it's a CH2. A CH2 will be different from a CH3. Okay? So here, how many environments do I have? Three. And the amount in each environment has a number on top of it. All right? So, if we look at this and figure out how many environments are singing. I'm going to show you some more examples. Okay? Now, here are three examples, and I'll do them in detail in the next slide. Isme, this is CH3, O CH3, has two proton environments, has sorry, one environment. That's why this is, and by the way, we're going to label them as H, A is each environment, or H, B, or H, C. This is my way of labeling each type of environment. Kya ye alag hai, wo alag hai, wo alag hai. This is CH3, CH2, CH3, O, CH2, CH3. Let's look at these guys in detail. Let's start with the first one. This is CH3, O, CH3. These two CH3s are, because they're bonded to the same O, or you can say, okay, this CH3 is bonded to a O, CH3. And this CH3 is also bonded to a O, CH3. So they're both bonded to an O, CH3. That means they're both equivalent. That means they that means six hydrogens here have the same environment. So if I were to see the graph of this, it will only have one peak because the peaks will determine, will, the number of peaks will be because of number of different proton environments. This environment is only one. So its graph, when it will be seen, it will be one peak. And what will its height be? Six. Because there are six hydrogens in it. And look at the next example. This is chloroethane, CH3, CH2, Cl. And the H is, this is a CH2 and this is a CH3. By that, it makes them different. For them to be identical, at least they have to have the same amount of hydrogens. Yeah, amount of hydrogen for again CH3 and CH2. So these are two different proton environments. This is my way of labeling, okay, this is, if I, this is labeled HA, then this guy will be a different hydrogen, HB. 
but both of these are HV and both of, all three of these are HAs. So I only have two types of protons. This is a way of labeling a hydrogen, HA, HB. You'll see me use this a lot in the whole worksheet, in the whole notes. Then the third example is CH3O, CH2, CH3. We had some, we've seen this already earlier, so we kind of discussed this already. CH3 bond to an O, this is a different proton environment. This CH3 is a different proton environment. Because this one is bonded to an O, this is bonded to a CH2. Now, our job for today is to look at each molecule and figure out how many different environments there are and how many hydrogens are in that environment. The ratio of the three peaks in this case would be, if you want to know, three is to two is to three. So the areas of the peaks will be three is to two is to three. So this three is three and this three is three ka height same hoga or area same hoga. So let's look at some examples right now. So let's look at slide 16 may skill check question. So here I've got a molecule that is CH3, CH, Cl, CH2, Cl. So sometimes this helps to write it in the condensed form CH3, CHCl and CH2, Cl. So now look at this way, I clearly can tell there are, are how many different environments, three. CH3 is one, this is one and these two are one. So one, two and three. So there are three environments and of what ratio are they in? One is to two. Right now the ratio will be in the sequence, not of the graph, but of the molecule reading from left to right. That's all. This is for us internal use for me to know, okay, are you getting the sequencing? No, no. So the ratio will just be from left to right of the molecule. Okay. Now number 17. Now in 17, look at this molecule. Now this one, by the way, is called what? Butan to all. This one is butan to all. Its structure is CH3, then a CH, brackets OH, then a CH2, then a CH3. First of all, everything is diff everything by without even looking at the environments, I know they're different because CH3 alagoga CH se, OH alagoga CH2 se. The only thing I'll check is are the two CH3s identical? And to check because one of them is bonded to a CHOH and one of them is bonded to a CH2. So I've got how many environments now? One, two, three, four, five. You're missing out on the OH also, that's also hydrogen. So this is CH3, the H on a C, the H on an O, the CH2 and a CH3. And the ratio would be three, one is to one is to two is to three, absolutely. So now this is easy stuff. Generally, they're all going to be all different like this. But what's also going to be needed is if you're going to work out how many different environments there are, you must also consider if the molecule is symmetrical or not. Because what you, I just showed you in the last two, three examples, they were not symmetrical. But hydrogen atoms on different atoms generally can, I mean, so if they're symmetrical, it's something else we, we'll, we'll, we'll get similar environments. But if they're not symmetrical, then all of them, hydrogen atoms on different atoms, like hydrogen atoms on a carbon and hydrogen on an oxygen, they will be different. Let me show you by example what I mean. I think it's easier shown by examples. That's why I don't worry about the words there. Ye molecule, dekho, this is penton 3 ohm, guys. I'm sorry, it shifted. Yeah, this is penton 3 ohm. Penton 3 ohm is actually CH3, CH2, CO, CH2, CH3. I've made CH3, CH2, CO, CH2, CH3. Now, first of all, there are only four carbons that have hydrogens, not five. This one has no hydrogen. Now, when I look at the molecule, it seems to me that if I make the line of symmetry here, the two sides are symmetrical. This side is CH3, CH2. This side is also CH3, CH2. What that means is this CH3, I mean, and this, by the way, symmetry is a shortcut to finding out. The real reason why this CH3 is the same as this one is because the left CH3 is bonded to a CH2, CO, CH2, CH3. The right CH3 is also bonded to a sequence of 
CH2, CO, CH2, CH3. Looking at symmetry makes it faster to figure out. Haan, yeah, symmetry ka dono side same hongi. To iska CH3 aur iska C bilko same hoga. Or this CO2, CH2 will be the same as this CH2. So now we only have two environments. One is the purple one in this case, and one is the blue one. And the sequencing, uh, the heights would be in the what ratio? Six and six to four, which will simplify to three is to two. But the heights will be six and four. All right. So the the six hydrogens are in the two equivalent CH threes. So by looking at even that, अभी हमने कंडेंस बनाया था ना. So looking at like this, it's easy to tell. So this is a faster way of looking at it. Once you get the hang of it, you'll realize that you know you rather look at it like this, and you might realize that wait, this CH three and this is identical because symmetrical molecule tha, and we can label them H A, and then we can label this guy as H B, which is same as this. So I I have only A's and B's, so I have two environments, and A's I have six of them, and B's I have four of them. Now somebody asked me a question earlier, and I'll answer it. Okay, what would happen if you have CH three O, CH two O, CH three? Now, without me answering, I will answer. But take a look at this. You can even figure out the answer to yourself. How many environments must this have? It's two environments because there's a line of symmetry, which makes this CH three and this CH three identical. So they will be called H A's, and this would be your H B. So only two environments, and the height would be six is to two. So let's go to slide twenty-one. Now in this case, this is a trick to use to also solve similar chemical environments. Sometimes it's not as I mean symmetry is one way, and another way is to use a trick. If you want to compare two hydrogen atoms, if they are identical, that means are two CH three identical. Or two CH two are identical. What you should try to do is replace the hydrogen in the one that you're checking with CLs, and then examine the substitution product. That results because of that. And once you have two different products, if the name is the same, then they're same identical. Let me explain what I mean. Let's say my pass have a. Butane. Clearly, you can see a symmetry, right? So we already can tell. Is me kitni environments hongi? For looking at the symmetry example, symmetry explanation, divided in the middle, the two CH3s are the same and the two CH2s are the same. But let's say I don't, I couldn't figure out from symmetry. I'm saying the other. Let's say you want to compare. You want to compare these two CH2s if they are similar or not. A shortcut is another way of doing it is that in dono ko compare karna na apko. एक एग्जाम्पल में इसका एच रिप्लेस बाय सी एल एंड वन एग्जाम्पल रिप्लेस दिस इज एच एस बाय सी एल सो डू दैट एंड यूल गेट टू डिफरेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स लाइक दिस लेट से सी एच टू की जगह सी एल लगा दिया देन सी एच टू सी एच थ्री इन द गाय ऑन द राइट आई मोन रिप्लेस द सी एच टू फ्रॉम द एच फ्रॉम द सी एच टू ऑन द राइट बिकॉज आई एम एक्चुअली कंपेयरिंग सेकेंड कार्बन एंड थर्ड कार्बन यू सी दैट आई हैव डन दैट नाउ देन आई ट्राई टू नेम दिस फेलो एंड आई नेम दिस फेलो What would I name this fellow? This is butane, but now we have chlorine, and chlorine is on what carbon? Two, if I count from the left. So this is two chloro, butane. Now name this fellow. You also count this. You count this from the right, and this is also called two chloro, butane. That's why they are chemically the same. Because by replacing them, you made the same molecule. So this hydrogen is identical to this one because replacing either of them makes the same molecule. So that's why symmetry works. The example on slide twenty-two also talks about the same thing. In this case, I have pentane. Now pentane is CH three, CH two, CH two, CH two, CH three. And let's say I want to compare these two. First of all, this and this. If I replace Cl here, it will become two chloro from here. If I replace Cl here, it will become two chloro from here. But I might somebody say, well, why not? The, why aren't these two the same? These two aren't the same, even though they're both CH2s. Because if I replace the H here with the Cl, I'll actually get 
टू क्लोरो पेंटेन बट इफ एर प्लेस इसका एच इन सी एल अलगेट थ्री क्लोरो दैट मीन्स इफ द नेम्स चेंज दैट मीन्स दे मस्ट बी डिफरेंट हाइड्रोजन दैट्स वाई दीज टू आर नॉट द सेम एनवायरमेंट दे आर डिफरेंट एनवायरमेंट दैट्स वन दीज आर वेज ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट सो इन पेंटेन वॉट यू विल रियलाइज दैट यू हैव जैसे वी लुक एट दिस फेलो राइट हेयर द वन ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड द राइट सी एस टीज आर एच एस these are hs the middle ones are these hs are hbs and the center one is a different h hc and so i have three different environments one of them has six protons the other one has four and the middle one has two then let's scroll down some other examples so here we see some more examples this is 1 2 dichloroethane now the molecule is symmetrical That tells me straight up that these two same are. This molecule symmetrical is still not because of the Cl and a Br here. That makes it not the same. So this CH two is different from this CH two, which is different from this CH two, because this is not symmetrical, and all are bonded to different things. Only if I had done this, if I had said, "Acha nahi, CH two, CH two, CH two Cl." Now if I had done this. How many? This was symmetrical now. So how many environments would this have? These CH two and this CH two would be the same, and this would be a different one. So H A's and H B. Some more examples. This is an ester uh, methyl ethanoate. Even though the three carbons, there are only two environments because they're both CH threes, but they're different because symmetrical. Nahi. One is bonded to a CO and one is bonded to an O. The CO is a different H, and the C uh, C double bond O, and the CSC on O is a different H. So these are will be two peaks, and heights क्या होंगे इनकी, और areas क्या होंगे, because the number of hydrogens are there going three and three. Remember what we're doing right now is finding out the different number of environments and the protons in that environment. Why this is important? Because if we can do that, we can know what it means on the graph. Different environments mean a different peak for each environment, and the Number of hydrogen will tell me the area of that peak. So, this graph, this ka graph will be only two peaks, and both will have the same height because both are ratios three is to three or one is to one. This is ethanol, and don't forget the H on the O because that also is a high proton. So, CH three, CH three, OH. Because remember, this is about hydrogens, not carbons. Hydrogens, yes, most of them will be on carbons. That's why it might seem like we're doing it for carbon, but it's for hydrogens on carbon. Not carbon. Carbon के मलक से करेंगे. So इसमें a CH3 is different from a CH2, which is different from an OH. So three different protons. Hi, three peaks will be. Heights will be in the ratio of three is to two is to one. Now let's look at a couple of more examples, and I'm going to get you guys to do a couple questions yourself. Here we have propen to all. Now yes, the molecules look symmetrical, doesn't it? From the center. Yes. But sometimes people might draw this this way for you. The same molecule can be drawn this way for you, and it might not be obvious to look at symmetry that way. And you might realize, "Nee, yar, ye to symmetrical nahi lag raha." But is tarah banana to lag raha because is tarah is tarah banana C H three C O H C H three H. Now symmetry is not the only way two hydrogen atoms are going to be equivalent. If Hydrogen on carbons are bonded to the same carbon atom. What I mean to say is, this these three hydrogens on a carbon atom, which makes it a CH3, are bonded to the middle carbon, which is also bonded to another CH3. So these two CH3s are the same group bonded to the same carbon atom, which makes these two identical in their environment. Even if they don't have symmetry, they will be identical in their environment. Even though they have symmetry, hey. But symmetry नहीं भी होती ना तो these two, the two CH3 on a carbon atom will give me the same environment. I'll show you some examples अभी. But right now these would be these two are identical, so their height will be six, one and one. So the ratio will be six is to one is to one. A four carbon tertiary alcohol to methyl propen to all. This fellow is actually CH3, C, CH3. CH three. 
OH. It is symmetrical also, but what's beautiful is the HAs on each CH3 are equivalent to the next CH3s because all of them are CH3s bonded to the same carbon atom, which is what makes them equivalent. The HAs on the CH3 groups are attached to the same carbon atom and they will be equivalent. This is important. The hydrogens on the CH3 groups attached to the same carbon atom will be equivalent. So, ye tino CH3 groups will be equivalent, which means all these nine hydrogens will be having the same environment. So, there will be nine having one environment and one having a different one. Hence, the ratio will be 9 is to 1. Because if I look at only symmetry, then I, I, I say, Haan, yeh symmetry ke to main in ko Because if you only look at symmetry, then you forget the fact that even this is symmetrical to these two. Now, let's look at a couple of questions. Obviously, this is easier when you look at the board because they are colored right here. But even if they're not colored, this would be in the condensed form would be CH3, then a CH with a CL, then C with an H and two CH3s. That tells me that these two CH3s are the same. This is different from this CH3, because symmetry is not So this is different, that's three, then one. This is one, uh, one environment, second environment, third and fourth. So the, how many different environments? Four. And the ratio would be? 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 6 or 6 is to 1 whichever order I don't care about the order but you guys got the ratio right good now skill check number 4 3 environments good this is one environment this is the other this is the other so 1 is to 2 is to 3 so now I try the next two 5 and 6 before I solve them so in this particular case, I've got three here, two here, two here, and one here. So that's four environments in the ratio of three is to two is to two is to one. The molecule was not symmetrical, neither two identical CH3 groups. But going here, this is fun. This was a good question because what you must have realized is that there are three identical CH3 groups. So therefore, the ratio is 9 is to 2 is to 1. And there were three environments because ye teen ek environment te, these two are 1 and this OH is 1. Okay. 7. This one's pretty easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 is to 3 is to 1 is to 2 is to it's definitely going to seem overkill by the amount of molecules we'll do. But once the reason why doing so many molecules is that then interpreting the graph is easy because now you know what you're going to be looking for. You're not going to be looking for molecules, you're going to be looking for environments. So today is all molecule day. It's all molecules and their environments. Now let's look at this molecule. Now this here, and sometimes it becomes a little... Uh, Overwhelming to look at the whole structure, so I always write it in in my own way that I like to. CH3CO, CH, and upper B CH3 here, and B. Now this makes it a little easier because I know I have three CH3s, but these two are identical. So I got one, two environments, and three. And the ratios are three is to one is to six. Beautiful, absolutely. And then nine. There are five environments. Six, one, two, two, one. Because these two are CH3s. Right? Okay, now about the next one, 11. Guys, so let's do this together quickly. In Donome, are they different or identical? Identical. So both of I'll just use labels H A H A. So this is a height of six. That's it, right? In these, the next one, what do you get? It's symmetrical. So these two are the same. Then six is to four because these guys will be H. Yeah. What about this one? These the symmetrical, but the two CH3s are the same. And this one is H. 
Let's six is two, two. It's not getting environments here. Three environments because this CH three is different from the last CH three, and the middle one is let's say HB. Why different? Hai? Because that's a CH three bonded to a CO, and that's a CH three bonded to a CH two. Symmetrical, nahi hai. So the height will be three is two, two is two, three. Yeah. Then I do thirteen for homework. I want to do fifteen. Last one. Now this is nice. I'll give you a moment to think about this, and then I'll solve this. This one has actually only two environments, and the reason for that is, guys, it, because this is combining the symmetry part and the part that the the two alkyl groups are on the same carbon atom. First of all, it's symmetrical. Hai. That means whatever these two are, are these two. Same, but these two are also identical because they're both on the same carbon atom. So th if these two are H A, this is H A, then this must be H A. But if these two are H A and the symmetry, so these must be also H A. So these all are H A's, H A, H A, H A, and H A. And then the other two are also symmetrical, so they must be H B's. So I got two H B's and twelve H A's. So twelve is two, two. And it's okay, but now you can look for these things also, right? So tomorrow we'll start chemical shear, which is the y-axis values on the graph.